kind of off to a little bit of a rough start here um, when we entered the dungeons. Um, this map is one of those maps to me that feels like, you know, everything is at the beginning with all the dogs and the mutants in all those small hallways. That reminds me a heck of a lot of episode 6, floor 1 of Wolfenstein 3D. And there's a few, like six or seven dogs that's a wondering that. And I think one or two uh, mutants who wander the hallway as soon as you shoot off um, your gun. So um, you got them, and then you have all those views in those alcoves, and it can be tough to navigate and get lost, but it, I don't think it's the worst. I think if you do just stick to, you know, like one portion of the maze, just navigate the whole way, you should be able to get everything. But then after that, it's like all the other rooms are just like, just there. Like, it doesn't feel like this map has much like, you know, like a rhythm to it. It just feels like bland. Like after you go through um, all those small alcoves and get to like, you know the hallways leading down to you know the bl other blue rooms, even the, to the red room at the end. It's like everything else is like so much easier to get to. So I feel like the in the consistency of this map is not there in my opinion, making it not really one of my favorites in the game so far. But that is it for floor six. Not much really to say. Again, it, it's weird. It's just. It has no rhythm to it. It just feels like two different maps. Just need to be a little more consistency, I feel that. But that's it for floor six. Move on further to the dungeons and move out to, up to floor seven in the next video. And until then, guys, I am the Club of the Man, 1993.